Um, so as demonstrated here, we've got varying heights. Um, the higher incline it is, the more shoulder orientated the movement will be. And then the lower it down will be, it will be the more chest orientated. So choose the incline that you want to fit for your whatever goals you have. So the next part of a dumbbell um, incline bench press is choosing a suitable weight. Once you've chosen a suitable weight, pick it up, stand up, put them onto your thigh, sit back. So when you sit back, roll it up, keep it close into your chest, forming an arrow shape, then press, and then there you go. So once you've got the dumbbells in hand, um, a technical point would be raising your chest to the barbells rather than the barbells coming to your chest. So as demonstrated here, the barbells are going to the chest and now change it to, the, you bring the chest to the barbell. You see the chest rising and meeting the barbell in the middle. So progression of the incline press is tempo. So uh, a tempo that we would suggest is a three to one. So it's three seconds down, a slight pause, then one second up. Another tempo you could do is a five to one, whatever. Um, you can also pause at the bottom for three seconds and then explode up. Um, so another alternative of the incline press is to do uh, incline uh, chest press on a machine, as demonstrated. Um, this can even be a progression uh, or a regression, depending if you want to add more weight uh, or less weight.